Yeah, look, I think it's a bit of both, Brian, to be quite honest. I mean, I was just disappointed with our fight. Um, we didn't really execute everything that we wanted to. So we had too many mental breakdowns, which is unacceptable. Um, stuff that that's just communication and, um, you know, probably a little bit of trust and a little bit of familiarity, to be quite honest. Um, you know, Dallas is... Dallas is a tough team. If you don't execute because you've got so many players that can make plays and got good inside presence, they can be aggressive. Um, but yeah, a bit, you know, defensively, we can be way better. We didn't execute what we needed to, but offensively, you know, even though we sc scored, you know, shot 48%, we just didn't move it enough. You know, we need ball player movement and um, just doing, we, we got to get back to just focusing on be pro process driven, not result driven. Um, and, you know, we're, we're no, nowhere near where we need to be if we want to be, you know, one of the best teams in the, in the league. And uh, we're in the, you have to go through the mud a little bit and it happens in a season and um, we're in it now. But I know I'm confident that we'll get out, but we just need some more games. It'd be nice to have Beck Allen coming back on Tuesday. Yeah, I suppose we're looking at offense. So it's a yin and a yang, to be quite honest. Um, and, you know, Joss probably gives us more defense than she does offense. Uh, but, yeah, their decisions, you know, I always look back and I say I probably should have played Joss a little bit on Enrique. But, like, Enrique, we, we didn't force her to the screen. We are supposed to be trapping her at that stage, and that didn't really uh, get done. And she's too good of a player to play her one-on-one. Final one. question, Debbie, Andrews, boys. Uh, Dolson fouled out tonight. The second game in a row that, that Dolson's battled some foul trouble. She's a veteran. That's not necessarily something you expect out of her. Just wondering, from your perspective, what has contributed to her relatively consistent foul trouble as of late? Yeah, you know, I think she has good intent. She's trying to get just a little bit late in her rotations, and um, you know, just having everyone having a little bit more discipline, not just Steph there. And um, you know, it was tough to get her to get any kind of flow. And you know, they they were they didn't allow us any kind of post ups. They three quarter fronted or they fronted a lot, and didn't get too many advantages there. But yeah, you know. She's uh, she's experienced. She'll bounce back. I think she knows when uh, you know it has to play a little bit. It's smarter, so she doesn't get in, get those chippy, the silly little fouls. And then on a more positive note, Han had a relatively productive night. Uh, we saw a productive night out of her in Chicago. I'm wondering if we should expect to see more minutes out of her moving forward in August. Yeah, look, I thought it was good to get Han in tonight. And, and like I said, you don't know until you try it. And we thought it was a good matchup. And, you know, it was. I mean, McCowan obviously could score on her. It was going back and forth. But I thought she showed a lot of positive signs um, that we could continue to work with. Thank you. Coach, thanks for joining us. Uh, Daniel McIntyre with her stats. Uh, I remember immediately you talked about controlling uh, that pace, uh, slowing down the turnovers. It seems there's been a little bit of improvement, but uh, is that still something you're trying to drill down? Uh, they had 20, like 23 points yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah. It was too much. It's hard when you, you know, we want to we want to value the possession. We want to, you know, I'd say pace is more like, pace doesn't mean not poised. Pace, and today I thought we didn't have the same pace as we had in the last game. Now, obviously a little bit of fatigue maybe into that, but we've got to fight through that. Every team's going to go through it. Um, but we got to make better decisions. I think we're sometimes predetermined and we're not being able to play to that next action and, and where the next release pass is. And we've got to, you know, we knew this is a team that every time you drive, they're going to congest. So they're very active with our hands. So we just got to, you know, have a plan when we, we're doing that. I don't think we had a plan and just some, some hard force turnovers. And against a team like this, you can't do that because they're very quick. Definitely. And then offensively, how do you feel uh, compared to the last two games, how you came out the first and third quarter. Uh, offensively, there's definitely some more production, but defensively, uh, I think you gave up over 20 points in each quarter. Yeah, can't do that too. You know, offensively, a better start, but we can't. We're not going to win many games if we allow them 26 points and, you know, 23. And that was something we said at, at half time. And, um, you know, we, we've got to try and, you know, Connecticut, we put a full game together and we'll undermine. So we just got to get that or that little focus back and, and making sure that we're staying sharp and we got to play more sense of urgency and you got to trust the process. You know, I think frustration steps in and, and we kind of lose that and we can't. These teams are too good. No problem. Uh, Uh, midway through the third quarter, we didn't see her again. 
Uh, what was kind of the, the decision making there? Was it chasing score? Was it something you saw? No, I mean, like I said, but it was asked here, and it's like it's you look always look back. You know, we're trying to get the offensive flow going, whereas Joss is obviously more defensive than offense. Um, but you know, we went with semi, so trying to get you know a little bit more activity there, and um, it was you know it's a it's a decision you think yeah could have would have I mean could have helped if we had executed what we needed to do against Enrique and not let her make a force into the screen and trapping it. it you know, would have made it hard, but she had some wide open looks purely out of offensive rebounds and, and miscommunication as well. And you can't do that. We've got to just get locked in. So yeah, just got to stay ready. You know, that's always things I evaluate post game. And, you know, she's probably one of the players could have played a few more minutes there. Gotcha. And it looked like at halftime Dallas made that adjustment to try to force some switches. So do you think, first of all, having Beth come back on Tuesday helps with that? Yep. Um, but was that just a, a matter of them hunting mismatches that, that you didn't like as much? Did that, did that factor in? Yeah, in, in terms of they were switching more. Uh, they were forcing switches from you. Yeah, well, we our, our goal was if there's any separation, switch it because they're too good, too good of players. But we, we wanted to get into more of a hedging and trapping in the second half. But, you know, they did a good job of screening us. We got separation. We had to switch because of their, their, their versatility and their scoring. And uh, they got good post players too. So we were scrambling the whole time in the rotation. And then even it felt like more than eight offensive rebounds, to be quite honest. Um, you know, but, you know, we just got to get better. And it's um, and, and that's on me. I've got to make sure that, uh, you know, we're locked in and we have the right people out there. And uh, we've got to find that right unit. But it will be good to have Beck Allen back. She'll just give us, you know, another scoring option, but also a defensive option. Hey, Sandy. Sorry, I'm, I'm on Zoom. Uh, Sarah Valenzuela from the New York Daily News. I just wanted to um, build off of Miles' question, just spe specifically because when you mentioned uh, a few minutes ago um, that, again, you are excited for, for Beck's return, aside from helping with scoring and whatnot, um, are you hoping that she can also help with, say, like building that trust or building that better communication? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, Beck's obviously very familiar to me. Um, you know, I've coached with the national team and it just gives us another option. I mean, you look at, uh, you know, Dallas, they can come at you in so many different ways uh, with a handler, but uh, Beck's another one that obviously can shoot and stretch the floor out a little bit, but also make a play off the dribble. Um, yeah, look, it's more, I think it's more about just getting chemistry. Yeah, we got to, we got to trudge through the, the mud at the moment and um, it's not where we want to be but we are. So we've, we've got to use this as a, as a learning thing and how we need to play to get better. And, you know, we can't get frustrated with things aren't going away. We have to make sure that uh, we all stay together and, and hopefully can find some rhythm as we move forward. Yeah. Hey, Sandy. This was asked already. I apologize. What do you think is the reason that this team is struggling so much to finish defensive plays with rebounds? Yeah, look, I think sometimes it's the rotations. Like we had to switch like a separation and, and we switched because of the player that was with the ball and um, their, their players are very dominant. I think it's a habit. We got we just got to toughen up. The rotation's a little bit late and it's sometimes we're inside of them and they're still jumping over the top of us. I mean, that's we got to do our work a little bit earlier. And, um, you know, like I said, eight offensive rebounds seemed like more because I felt like the, but the eight offensive rebounds, you made, they just hurt us. And, and that's, we've got to limit those breakdowns. We've got to be able to finish plays and, you know, we'll go back to the video and we'll have to work out what's, what's the best way. I'm, I'm curious what you made of uh, Sabrina's body of work this afternoon. You know, how long do you think it's going to take for her to build some chemistry with some of these new players like a Steph Dolson, who she was trying to find, but it didn't work? Yeah, it takes time. I mean, uh, you see the players that have played together, it kind of helps them. Dallas has that, had that for a few years. And, and you see that it, just getting on the same play, playing uh, page where, you know, Dolson, obviously she can shoot it. You know, there's terms she can roll and post up. And, you know, it's, we just need time and then just trusting the process and, and knowing, like, just making simple passes. I think, you know, sub, obviously she tries, she has a high workload, but sometimes, you know, she's a great passer, but the simple pass sometimes would be the best pass. Um, but she's get there. Like we put a, there's a lot of, obviously, you know, there's a big load on her and I think she's, you know, doing as, as well as she can. And we've just got to help her get to that next level with the, the cohesiveness with, you know, especially Steph, she knows the others, but you know, Steph. Coach, Jeff, thank you. Jeff, based on the last week, sorry to make Joey's way today. How 
I think I think you can do more with the eight player rotation out there. How valuable is it to have accomplished names like Sam Whitman and Michaela Onyewere come off the bench and provide valuable minutes and leadership out there as well? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, you need, you know, the teams that win are usually the teams with the most experience, um, you know, the most time continuity. Um, and, and it does, you know, you know, you can over the course of the season, really, that experience really does take take off. So, you know, Semi's Semi's a, a player that's been here and she's a strong leader and she'll, you know, keep us together because, you know, frustrated. Yeah, we're, we're all, you know, mad and disappointed. We we didn't play our best game, but um you just got to okay. You got to look at yourself. We got to. We all got to get better and, and move forward. And you need those leaders around it. And and we've got great leaders there. So we're gonna we're gonna be okay. We just just got to work it out. And and really, after the break against Connecticut is very valuable for us because it will be the first time that we can actually get some training with a full group um, and not trying to learn on the fly. Appreciate yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>